We are now live. It's ramen day, and Mel has something important to say. Let's get ready to ramen. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Hello, friends. We are talking about ramen today. Do you have a box full of ramen in your house? Do you have one single ramen in your house? Either way, you will probably be eating some ramen over the next couple weeks, and we can help you make it extra delicious and awesome. So in honor of um, one of Japan's most fantastic exports, the ramen, we are wearing one of Japan's other fantastic exports, the Pokemon outfit. I will show you <laughs> my Pokemon outfit, Snorlax. Snorlax is the sleepy Pokemon. It's my spirit animal because Snorlax is always sleeping and I would always rather be sleeping. So <laughs> we are going to talk about ramen. Hello, Jessica. Jessica has an unwise amount of ramen. I don't think there is such a thing, Jessica. It does not exist. We are here to help you with all your ramen needs. We're going to make ramen like the tiniest bit healthy. Add veggies. We are going to make ramen extra delicious. Add cheese. Grill. We are going to make ramen cold. We are going to make ramen soupy. We are going to probably also have some cocktails that have nothing to do with ramen, but we need them. So... Let's get started. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Mel. First up, we have ramen grilled cheese. Mm. There's two things I love in the world, ramen and grilled oh. cheese. And I'm about to combine them. Pretty okay. exciting. So, <clears throat> cooked ramen. One egg. And, as always... A little bit of salt. Mix it up. So, cooked ramen. You guys probably already know how to cook ramen. I'm sure that this is like a little overkill for, you, for most of you. But our best advice is to undercook a little. Just like Italian pasta, you want a little al dente. And because ramen can cook so quickly, if you're planning to do something with it, um, like noodle salad, and you don't want it to get super hot, then you can undercook a little and then immediately uh, oil it a little bit and spread it out on a sheet pan or something flat and let it cool down because nobody likes mushy noodles. Also, for the purpose of the dish that we're making today, or the main dishes, um, I like to keep them short. We don't want it too long. Just chuck some scissors in there. Don't have to do anything fancy. Yeah. And uh, if you look at this recipe online, a lot of the, a lot of the recipes will tell you to put it in a sheet and then put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. It's not necessary. And I just like to do things as quickly and easy as possible. General mode so. of the cooking here is lazy cooking. It's still <laughs> delicious, but you know, don't do all these elaborate steps that you don't need. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially now. Who are you cooking for? The, the internet. <laughs> so. If you're just joining us, Charizard is making ramen grilled cheese because why not? We've also got some soup going in the back. That's a broth made from, what's in the broth, Mel? I actually just used the packet for this one, but right. you can totally use your own broth, the better than bullion that we've talked about before, any homemade broth that you've got. Um, I just used the packet because we had one. Yeah, and you it's know, delicious. Food's tight these days. Yep. So <clears throat> we are gonna leave these cooking. And we are going to move over to my next wonderful dish. I'm going to call it the egg nest. <gasps> the egg nest. So An egg with a nest. A nest with an egg. <laughs> I might have been testing pina colada recipes this morning. We'll probably show you guys how to do it in a little while. But right now we're just, you know, enjoying the fact that we're in onesies and uh, making ramen. We have more cooked ramen here. More cooked ramen. That's the theme of the day. Yes. Okay. Oh, here I have some sausage that I fried, and it's just half one of these. Absolutely delicious. Pick them up at Costco. Super easy. I've just cut it up small and fried it. I've got some green onion. Hang on a second. Just for aesthetics and a little bit of flavor. I'm going to put... A little bit of sesame, 
a little bit of soy, a little bit of sesame, a little bit of soy, a little bit of Chuck cooked meat, sausages in, a little, little bit, bit of green onions, onions, green onions, and other things. And you can put anything in this. Doesn't need to be sausage. It can be bacon, some cut up salami. If you're vegetarian, do some fried tofu. Mm. Or, you know, I've done it plenty times with literally just noodles and egg and it's still delicious. Yes, noodles so, and egg, always delicious. Um, an important PSA, if you are cooking in a full body Charizard Pokemon suit, <laughs> make sure you roll up your sleeves and also do not set your wings on fire. We had a near miss this morning, but everything is all good. We are not calling the ER workers. They are doing other important work these days. Just, oh, you know, watch man. your wings. So. Whoa, that's already looking amazing. This in the pan. Cooked sausage. So uh. Soy sauce. Sesame oil. Sesame oil for the egg. Yum. Nice. We've got broth going on the back. That's just the ramen packet. We all love the ramen packet. If you are worried about you know, ramen being unhealthy, then replace it with stock or something else of your choice. Oh, the yeah. The key to this dish, or what makes it so delicious, is to just make sure. I'm going to come over here for another view. We've got a decent amount of oil at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Ample oil. By the time that egg is cooked, the bottom of the noodles will be crispy. Mm. And it just makes the dish. It's amazing. Mm, crispy. So we're going to let this cook for a little while. Crispy. And we will come back to it. Yes. Okay. We're going to let these hang out. This is going to be the ramen grilled cheese. This is going to be a noodle soup. This is going to be an egg in a nest. Um, Irene would like to remind everyone about when she was on a three-day solo camping trip and a raccoon ate all her ramen, <laughs> including the spice pack. Licked clean and her toothpaste, I believe. Oh, we have uh, many rom Smart raccoon, raccoon stories. <laughs> yeah, that spice pack is delicious. <laughs> so salty and MSG. Mm. Oh, speaking of spice packs and speaking of ramen, we had an important question from Tim a while back. Tim from London wants to know about everybody's favorite ramen specifically. Okay, guys. Oh, we could talk. We all could talk day. <laughs> all day. This family and our extended family has uh, many thoughts on ramen preferences. If you're still buying top ramen from the supermarket, we want to expand your horizons because there mm -hmm. is so much delicious ramen out there. This is our favorite. You can order it off Amazon. This box is what we have in the house when there's no pandemic. Yes, so, this is you standard. Know, Jessica mentioned unwise amount of ramen. I'm not <laughs> sure that exists. Uh, mm -hmm. So Tim is all about chicken followed by curry. Ooh. The cultural attache likes creamy chicken and mushroom. Mel, what's your favorite? Wow. This one? Oh, I love the sesame and the black garlic oil one. So this one is... But this is the brand... With this is the best oil. brand. Yeah, but we're all about so this many, brand. The so Nissen. many different flavors. Instant noodle with soup base. This one's the sesame. It comes with its own little packet of sesame oil. And the black garlic one is also delicious. There's a tonkatsu pork that's good. Yes. Um, and basically, if you have an Asian supermarket near you, just go wander the aisles. And it's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory for fried noodles. There are so many different kinds. Also, oh yeah. yeah also, I this like is something to buy we just started. the bulk ones without the seasoning because I so often use them for yeah. dishes like I'm yeah. showing you now. So this one is the uh, Kuifeng noodles. <laughs> Kui fung noodles. Kui fung noodles. I just, now you're always going to remember we, that. We, <laughs> we, uh, I just randomly picked ones from the um, from the, the Asian supermarket. This one was the chow mai noodles. They are non-fried. Non-fried noodles is delicious. Uh, and, you know, they are just all kinds of different... Um, all kinds of different plain ramen in a package, so you don't need the space, and they just come in these little blocks, kind of like the regular ones. So, ooh, Jessica goes Tokyo soy sauce from Nissin and Nongshim Ansung Tangmyeon. I, I'm sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. That I butchered that pronunciation, but it sounds delicious. So, go check out your local Asian supermarket or do some Googling um, and have them send you some delicious new ramen. Uh, I grew up with the Marukan kind, um, and funny story, for some reason in our household growing up, we called them Chinese noodles. I don't know why, 
because we ate many other actually Chinese noodles, and these are not actually Chinese noodles, but we um, ate those all the time. And I would say it is actually the first thing I learned how to cook is ramen with upgrades because you have to learn how to do a, um, an egg drop soup because, you know, add some protein, make it a little healthy. It's important when you're like, I don't know, 10 years old and cooking for yourself. So egg drop soups, so great. You ready for a little grilled cheese Ooh. ramen flip? Ooh. Now, I'm gonna oil this up a little bit because mm. you wanna make sure that you're getting all that brown, crispy goodness. Mm. It would actually be hilarious if Charizard's wings caught on fire. Just or actually, <laughs> I think the tail. Oh I think the tail is supposed to. Well, Charizard's like a fire Pokemon. I think I don't know. Oh. Someone, see, look, you have you have a tail on fire right now. <laughs> there you go. See. This Pokemon jokes. I don't really know enough about Pokemon. All right. We're chucking cheese on there. I have turned it up a little bit because you want the outside to have that crispiness. Yes, we did some testing for you guys and it is not as good when it's not as crispy. Yes. We put, our, put it to the test. You could chuck a little bit of Parmesan on the outside. Mm. It would crisp up really good. Why didn't we do that? Mm. Next time. Mm. Okay. So while this is still cooking away, should we do a noodle salad? Like something maybe sure. a little healthy? Yep. All right. So. We are going to make a version of Shameless Self Promotion. This is uh, my cookbook. It's called Double Awesome Chinese Food. There is a recipe in it for a summer noodle salad. And that just means it uses fresh summer vegetables like tomatoes, avocado, zucchini, etc. But you can make it any type of time of the year and just put in different vegetables. I think there is not a single vegetable that would not be delicious in this. It's a great hero recipe, what we call our favorite things over at Food Waste Feast that involve putting in whatever you have in your fridge. So what did I have in my fridge? Cucumber, carrot, jicama, scallions, tofu. Yum. We're just gonna put them all in. Yeah. There are many different sauces that you can do, but I kind of like a gingery garlic vinaigrette. So that's here. Um, the one I, we will put a recipe with the exact details that we use in the cookbook online, but you definitely this one's got like lime juice and black vinegar. If you don't have those, it's totally fine. Um, you can kind of mess with the different acids that you have in the house: rice vinegar, black vinegar, apple cider vinegar, uh, lemon, lime. There's some soy sauce in it. Um, a little sweetness you want to kind of round it out and not have it be too acidic. So this one's got honey, but you could also do maple syrup or sugar. Um, I'll move in to just Sorry, I'm just multitasking. So you can kind of do what you like. Um, oh, another thing is, speaking of an excellent pantry classic, peanut butter. You don't have to just use it for Ooh. desserts and um, peanut butter and jelly. You can make delicious sauces with peanut butter, a bit of soy sauce, again, a bit of acid. Um, I usually like to add in a splash of water because it gets, it can be very pungent. Um, how do you get a Pikachu into a taxi? Pokemon. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tim, you might need to work on your dad jokes. All right, so that um, is becoming a sauce. We're going to move over. Mel's going to take a look sorry. and show you this while I work on this sauce. All right, let's get you guys turned around here. There we go. So, let's just see what's happening under here. Oh yes, all the crispiness. I can Take help that. with this. Thank you. So, bloop. Rum and grilled cheese. It's mm. so delicious. I think that one should cook a little bit longer. Gonna get some Let more crispiness. This? Oh yeah. Oh, check out that. That one was in the hot spot of the grill. That. So let's really make sure we do it. So guys, full disclosure, I tested a food waste cocktail this morning. If you're wondering why I'm doing so much singing, <laughs> it's because I made a pineapple scrap rum 
with, it's basically a pantry cocktail for those of you who are interested in such things. So pineapple scraps in a bottle of this. Bacardi white rum. So this was made, my husband actually already did this. It's a funny color because it's had pineapple sitting in it for a couple of days. We got a pineapple, it was a little too um, not delicious. So that's the technical term, uh, underripe, it wasn't great. So we put it into the white rum and let it sit for a couple days. And now I'm testing one with the outside of the pineapple because it feels like you throw out so much of the pineapple and it feels sad. So um, I will test this and you guys can check back and see whether or not that turned out delicious. But speaking of pantry cocktails, so you could do this with like canned pineapple. You could do this with the uneaten dregs of a fruit uh, box that you bought from the supermarket and all of the delicious fruit got eaten and the pineapple got left pine because someone in your house doesn't like pineapple. And then you need this magical can of Coco Lopez, cream of coconut. So this is important, guys. Uh, when you are cooking things like curry, you want coconut milk. Um, particularly full fat coconut milk because it is more delicious. Uh, and then when you are making cocktails like a pina colada, you want cream of coconut. It's very sweet. It is not difficult to figure out what it's for. Check out the front. So um, I will be working on that right here. It's basically, I think I did two ounces of the pineapple soaked rum and a large spoonful of Coco Lopez, which is weird looking. I haven't even really stirred it well enough, but it's just like coconut milk, it is kind of, um, it separates when it sits for a long time. So ideally that would be better shaken, but it's not, but it's still delicious. So that's why I'm singing all of the recipes to you. All right, this grilled cheese is delicious. Looking Instant good. pina colada, no blender. All right, back Bless. to Oops. Sorry. important things like Grilled cheese what? ramen. What? what? Boom. Guys. All right. Wow. Let's get this. You know, sometimes my job is just so hard. Gotta eat this grilled cheese ramen. Life is tough. Oh my gosh. Mm. Crunchy Whoa. on the outside, soft on the inside, Whoa, cheesy. Guys. You can totally dress this up with salami inside, Whoa. ham, um, some green. Look at that, yum. Let's get Fried a close mushrooms. Up. Extreme stoner food close up, <laughs> yum. <laughs> wow. You can even put more cheese in there. I mean, it's seriously delicious. I'm gonna let it cool. All right, we're gonna cool that down before we stuff it into our face and we're gonna check on. No. Uh, the egg in a nest. You guys are gonna be able to see this. But the underneath is Ooh, super crispy. Crispy. And it so crispy. just takes it to the next level. All right, let's check this next out. Next level ramen. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay, guys. Cut into this, baby. For, uh, you know, testing purposes, I'm going to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Look at that crispiness. It's so good. Yum. Yum. I'm not going to eat it right now because <laughs> it's very It's not going to look pretty. What? You look so pretty right now. Look at you. <laughs> look at you. Oh, All right. So, so I'm going to hand this Back over. to the noodle salad. We're going to noodle salad. Just in case you've just joined us, we've got fried tofu, we've got some cooked ramen, we've got some green onion, we've got carrot, cucumber, and the other vegetable that no! I always get wrong. Let's try. Go. Jicama. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Yakima, in case you're wondering, is a county or a town in eastern Washington. Which is why I keep calling it. Not this. Jicama. Jicama. So, noodle salad. Cold cooked ramen noodles, yum. Protein of choice, rotisserie chicken, uh, cooked ground beef, uh, leftover pork, your Chinese food leftovers from takeout, 
uh, tofu, scrambled Yay. eggs, a fried egg. Uh, anything. Anything you can think of. Um, whatever veggies are in your fridge. If it is veggies that are delicious cold or raw, have them raw. If they are not, then cook them first and then put them in. Yep. It is entirely up to you. We're just going to toss all that in. And kind of mix it together. So as I was saying, this dressing is like, oh, scallions, you know, those are key. I love them. Uh, also, sesame seeds. You can see how measurement is not my strong suit. Never has been, never will be. Ooh, we've got chili. Chili Ooh. sauce. Uh, the angry grandma or grandpa. <laughs> that's, that's what we call it. You know, I don't know what her deal is. But uh, maybe not angry, pensive. Anyway, and she makes a delicious spicy chili crisp, and we're just gonna get some So, there's in two there. things that people are gonna really remember from today's cooking demo is pensive grandfather mm -hmm. and queef ramen noodles. <laughs> queef on. <laughs> queef on. Sorry. Queef on. <laughs> so, that's already looking good. I haven't even put the sauce in yet. Yeah. But, so, this was already forgotten ginger, lemon zest. Lemon juice. Um, the one so, in our cookbook has lime and black vinegar. This one's got lemon and rice vinegar because I didn't have any limes. Um, soy sauce, honey. Um, I also like maple syrup. There's tons of different variations. Yeah. Basically, you want an acid, you want some soy sauce, you want some uh, sweetness, and then it's kind of seasoned to taste. It's really up to you guys for what kind of flavors you want in there. But look at that. Has uh, ramen ever looked so healthy? I don't know about you guys, but I am super pumped about lunch today. <laughs> and you know what's also great? This is a great way to use up fresh herbs. So if you have yes. mint, if you have basil, if you have cilantro, any of those nice tender herbs, cilantro stems, um, you could toss in arugula, you could toss in baby spinach, you could toss in lettuce. You could do so many things with it. It is an amazing hero recipe. That's why we love to eat it, and not only because it is so delicious, but... If you have ever thought, I have lots of ramen, I could use maybe a bit more veggies and flavor in my ramen, then yum. Ah, Delicious. Yum. That looks awesome. Uh, are we, we going to taste all this before the egg? Because you know, taste, it would feel be a, like, it'd be rude not you to know. eat this when it is still hot and delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? Snorlax. All right, I'm going for it. <laughs> Hang on. Wait for me. Mm. Yeah, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I just used sharp cheddar. Yield faithful sharp cheddar. And it is so... Yeah. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> You now, I recipe tested this dish yesterday and you haven't actually tried it, so mm. get stuck into Not this because so. it is Not seriously <clears throat> yes, Tamisu. We did shove it in our mouth. Thank you. Did you mm. know you were tuning in to watch two Pokemon mm. eating weird ramen dishes? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what today's episode is. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum, doozy egg, mm -hmm. cooked meat. That crispiness, mm. on, it's so good. Mm. Kai, you need so to make this. Good. That's right, Tim. Yeah. Even yeah. Pokemons need to eat. Yeah, Pokemon need to eat. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to cooking. Mm -hmm. So, brief moment for hand washing. And then we are going to show you how to upgrade your regular ramen. Just super simple, you don't need anything um, major. But one of the things about ramen is that you could make a rounded meal for like a dollar. You buy a bunch of ramen, you buy a packet of, you buy a case of eggs or a carton of eggs. We buy eggs by the case because we have two families of egg lovers. Um, and then maybe some frozen corn or some frozen peas. It is a inexpensive meal that is delicious and filling and it is, um, Yummy. It's yummy. You should know how to make it. Just to upgrade it the tiniest bit. Here's so. some cooked ramen I made earlier. <laughs> cooked ramen. 
Mm. Yep. And let's, we're running out of space here. One jammy egg. Bring your water to the boil. Actually, I'm going to do this over here. Bring your water to the boil. Chuck your egg in there for seven minutes. Now, no pressure, but this better be a jammy egg. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. Jammy, jammy. So we are saying seven minutes. Seven minutes. Meat gives you a delightfully mushy-ish yolk with a cooked white. All okay. about it. Ooh, and one other thing I wanted to show you guys. At the very least, I will always crack an egg into my ramen. And if I have it, I'd put some baby spinach in there. So, oh yeah, so egg drop soup. Are we gonna show an egg drop soup? Yeah, sure. So <clears throat> this Why is one of the first things I learned how to make. You get an egg, crack into a cup or a boil, mix it up like you're gonna make scrambled eggs and you pop it into a hot broth. I usually do it, let's say, the noodles have gone in and they've been in for a minute. Then you, you can pop your yolk in so that it cooks. It off. By the time your noodles are done and then you have an egg drop soup. And you could do this without ramen. You could just make this with chicken broth. Yeah. And all of a sudden you have mm -hmm. egg drop soup. You can chuck some spinach in there, some arugula, any green veg. Yep. We are going to use other things to dress it up today. Hello, egg I drop. mean, you can't have too much egg, right? Yeah. Put so. an egg on it. <gasps> Jessica, I taught my friend Jessica how to make that when we were about eight years old. That is true. That is one of the first things I learned how to make. Okay. So... I may have used all the scallions. I always, that's okay. Uh, I always use this little oil pack, sesame oil. Yeah, the good ramen comes with its own oil packages. Yes. Mm. Oh, so we have two important questions. Number one, the cultural attache wants to know where, where we're based. So um, we are currently in North Carolina. Uh, that's where Mel, my sister-in-law, and I live, but if it's possible a lot of you are coming from Boston, where my sister Irene lives, who is also part of Food Waste Feast. She currently runs the May May restaurant up in Boston, and that's how a lot of you know us. Um, if you want to put where you're based, we would love to hear where you guys are watching from, and that would be super fun. Um, and another important question, Justin Sun wants to know if we are Charmander, Charmeleon, or Charizard. I am almost 100% positive that this is Charizard. Because Charizard's got the slightly like more menacing face. Am I right? Am I right? Right. I have no idea why. Yeah. <laughs> menacing <laughs> face. Also, like the bigger wings with the blue and and the um, the fire butt. Right. Pretty sure. Oh, the cultural attaché is from Louisiana. That's awesome. I know we've got some people here watching from Switzerland. We've got some people watching from London. Wow. It's pretty cool. Like and the, uh, Oh, I was going to use some tofu, but it's Oh, yeah. Um, Oops. I put all the tofu okay. in okay. here. But you can use, again, any type of protein that you mm. want. You can use... I put some seaweed in there. Mm. Jammy egg. Mm. Devin, I agree. I'm pretty sure it's Charizard. Devin, who, what's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, awesome. Mary's artist is watching from Apex, North Carolina. That is my son's kindergarten teacher. Woohoo! Hi. Hi. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. Every day. Uh, grades with daddy. Yes. So is Kai. They're being well cared for and not by the people in Pokemon outfits drinking pina coladas at 1130 <laughs> in the morning. Don't worry. The other children are being cared for. Yes. So guys, look Ooh, at that. We could chuck some green easy onion upgrade. In there. Also, look at an that. important thing: a good pair of kitchen scissors, or even a crappy pair of kitchen scissors, which <laughs> this is, means that you don't always have to get out a cutting board. It's great for things like nori. Mm. See this, the seaweed right there. It is um, annoying to cut on a cutting board. It is much much easier to do on uh, with a pair of scissors. Um, so, oh, Devin's favorite is Jigglypuff. Good choice, Devin. Good choice. All uh, right, so we have one more thing to do, which is perhaps somewhat unexpected, is we are leaving the realm of Asian ramen, and I am going to make a an anchovy garlic parmesan ramen because we want 
all the umami in one place. Yes, the cultural attache is mentioning. Big fan of scissors for herbs. It's great because you don't, you're don't you less likely to bruise them. You can just go snip, 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 snip. And in the realm of my general pure laziness in cooking, it means you don't have to get on a cutting board and then you don't have to wash the knife. You have an easy snip, snip. So, garlic, butter, anchovy, ramen with parmesan. Sounds crazy. Break in the mold. It is delicious. So, what we're gonna do here is turn on a pot. We are going to get some butter. Now, I made together, uh, I, you know, put together a vague Let me. recipe. Gonna hand that over to Mel. Here we go. All right. So, what I did this morning when I ate garlic butter anchovy ramen for breakfast, you're welcome, <laughs> uh, is three tablespoons of butter. So it's about that. Give or take. And that's a little more than three tablespoons, but you know, we have no problem with extra butter here. Yeah. Okay, it's getting a little toasty, but I'm not wearing anything underneath. <laughs> this is not that kind of show, people. So no. <laughs> just gonna get my hair back, wash my hands. This is a very warm, warm yeah. outfit. Uh, if any of okay. you joined us for the fresh herb, herb, <laughs> episode uh, where we where we toss noodles with the green sauce that we made. You can do that with ramen too. Yes. It was super easy. Just to recap, we did uh, some cilantro and carrot tops, and we just uh, put them in a blender um, with some olive oil and some salt and then we tossed them with so cold soba noodles and it was excellent yeah guys, so do that up with ramen too never i'm hot and i'm thirsty so i'm gonna drink pina colada <laughs> um, never feel like you can't use ramen the way you use any other noodle pasta right exactly pasta. it's fine you have it in your fridge i mean cupboard have it in your cupboard <laughs> and it is going to be just as delicious. Maybe not authentic, but delicious. Yes. We're all about that here, especially in a time where um, if you're not familiar with cooking or you are not able to get the rest of the ingredients you usually have, or you are just trying to feed your children and stay sane and stay safe, uh, don't worry about authenticity. Just make stuff that tastes delicious. Yes. Garlic, butter, anchovy, parmesan, ramen is delicious. It's Hi. All of the umami. Sorry. Hi, Marie. Uh, Guys, if you've just joined us, don't worry. You've missed a lot of amazing... <laughs> don't worry, you ama everything. <laughs> amazing stuff here, amazing information, um, you know. <laughs> but we will... We'll but it's all, it's all going to be posted um, on the foodwastefeast.com mm -hmm. um, with a link to the YouTube. And so you don't worry. You yeah. Can, you can get to it later. You know, if so. you want to keep watching over and over, you can. <laughs> so, intro. If you do not like anchovies, you are missing out. I know there's all these recipes that are like, if you don't like anchovies, just leave them out. You shouldn't do that, they're so good. Uh, they are also very inexpensive. They will last forever. You can have a whole bunch of these tins in your cupboard. They are great pantry boost flavor boosters. So yes. I highly suggest if you haven't had one in a while and you think you don't like them, try it again. Um, this is a great time. Cooking with chopsticks is super helpful. Oh, I and cook everything with chopsticks. Things that you want to pick up, like anchovies, are great. Now, most rest there's all these recipes that will tell you to chop the anchovies first and then put them in the sauce and watch them break down. It's like, what's the point? Just put them, put them right in. Um, I always do more anchovies than the recipe says, just like I usually do more garlic than the recipe says. Um, so, you know, this is up to you. Do you want to smell absolutely insane? Like I do right now. <laughs> I a lot of garlic and anchovies. If so you don't okay. want to or you don't have it, that's fine too. So what happens to anchovies is um, you put them in to a tomato sauce, for example. They will totally break down and not have a fishy mm. flavor that so many people are afraid of. It is not fishy. It's just delicious. It adds like a boost of salty umaminess. Yeah. And it's awesome. So this was like two or three garlic cloves. Uh, it was four, but they were quite small. They were small. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, you just, 
You just got to go with what your taste buds like. More garlic, less garlic. More anchovies, less anchovies. Mm-hmm. We've been working on a four cloves, four anchovies uh, recipe. But, you know, adjust it as yeah. you like. And if you do, don't... If you do like anchovies, which you should, <laughs> anchovy oil is delicious. I put it into everything. Um, and then what you can do also is just add a little more olive oil uh, to the thing when you're done with it. And then you have a little extra anchovy oil. Yes. You can put it into dressings. It makes things taste delicious. Um, and so basically, you're just looking to cook it, if you want to take a look, until um, the anchovies kind of break down a little bit. Yep. And the garlic has gotten all toasty and it smells delicious and your butter browns a little bit. And yep. then... Yes, Tim uses it as a salt substitute in sauces. Mm, Absolutely. Uh, Manuel has just joined us. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Manuel. <laughs> so, cooked noodles. Okay. Um, it, if you have just cooked these and they're hot, then that's even easier. And then you just dump it in a ramen packet. We didn't measure, so this is probably a little more ramen than one serving. But you know what? It doesn't really matter because, as you can see, this is not a precise recipe anyway. It doesn't look like much, but oh, man. The flavor is amazing. It's so good. So good. So. And we want to know, what do you guys do with your ramen at home? What have we not covered today? What have we missed? Have we missed anything? There's got to be more out there. So let us know your ramen recipes because we all need help at this time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And oh, you know and some Parmesan. Needs help. Um, <laughs> shout out to um, an organization that is really cool called Off Their Plate. So my sister Irene yesterday made 120 dinners for ER workers in Boston. Off Amazing. Their Plate is doing this really cool thing where they are helping to pay restaurant workers who need the financial support and the hours by making food for uh, first responders and people who work in hospitals and are risking their lives every day to help people out. Um, and they need good food, they need sustenance, they need comfort, they need support from our communities. So check out Off Their Plate. I think it's offtheirplate.org. Um, and also other people who need food, uh, check out your local food banks. If you usually go out to dinner and you cannot go out to dinner now, put that money towards someone else who might need it. Um, there's all sorts of great food banks in every neighborhood that need your support now. So think about it. Um, and yes. Think about making this garlic which butter I, anchovy just parmesan d- doesn't do it justice but how many of you are going to go make this now i want to see your pictures i want to see all your ramen pictures tag us yeah. we want to see it tag us um food waste feast show us what you're making tell us what you like to put in your ramen uh come over to north carolina and eat when this is over different kinds of ramen with us <laughs> Again, we are always here for your questions. General, they do not have to be ramen related. They can be ramen related. We are always ready for ramen related questions. We are ready for Pokemon questions. All food questions. All food Pokemon. Questions. That's her. That's her. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's my four year old or my husband. They are yeah. the experts. But I do have a Pokemon encyclopedia, and I can look up answers for you. So, we're, we're do you have you. something lingering in the fridge? You want to do something different with it, um, or you just don't know what to do with it? Send us a message. Send us, tag your pictures. We want to see all of it. Love you guys. Pokemon out. (laughs) My refrigerator. (laughs)